Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Sometimes I'm just really excited <clears throat> to play some more Terraforming Mars more than normal. So I, uh, I go on these binges where I play. I mean, it's for me, it's the morning, and I really... Um, I have some work I'd like to get caught up on, but let's uh, let's see what we can do. It's rare to get a Saturn system start and actually have, uh, have Jovian and... The Preludes. Do we have any more Jovians? Nah. Urbanized area does not fit. But you know what? I don't hate uh, these cards. And I don't hate these cards. And what are we doing? We're getting... I think we'll get plant income. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to go for energy income, but I have three energy income in hand, so I'm not feeling particularly like we're super worried about it. So why don't we just lose a little bit of income, get the plant income, and now we're in, you know, a cute spot. We'll get the sacrifice, that'll help us with some more uh, plant stuff moving forward. Industrial microbes <clears throat> is really powerful, it's good. One of each to start the game with. Uh, losing a point for an energy is totally fine, uh, and it's basically just as fine as, you know, spending four bucks for another one. So, our productions are basically, you know, above zero across the board, other than our heat, but we have three energies, so just pretend one energy is a heat production. Um, and yeah, I think we feel pretty good for a turn one, you know, like it, not going to get too hung up on myself. Equatorial Magnetizer is unreal good um, for winning this game, is what I have to say about that. In fact, I may be able to play it. No, I'm $2 short. I thought I could play it, but I didn't want to do the math. Um, but we're going to just pass. Equatorial Magnetizer, turn 3, means you can use it 10 times that turn and the 9 turns after. So, that's 10 of the TR we need. You give us some Radchem Factory, some Mag... Like, this is... A lot. In a good way. It's a lot in a good way. We just picked up, like, a lot of TR. Let's pretend we got some Cyanage Synergy. Um... I'm going to do the Equatorial Magnetizer for the TR instead of Radchem because I want to get as much actual TR out of this as I can. Um, and I, I can play Convoy from Europa, so I will. I'm not super fond of playing it without seeing next turn. Nitrogen Rich Asteroid is pretty good for us. I don't need anything. In, you know what? If I get plants... If I get plants, we get a greenery next round, I think is the most sustainable way of looking at this. I would like to see some more Jovians. We only had one uh, to start, and that was in our Prelude. It wasn't even a card we bought, so... It'd be nice to get more. Methane from Titan isn't really what I had in mind. We could copy Industrial Microbes. The problem here is that I'm getting too many good cards... But, is it really a problem? I don't know. It may or may not be a problem. Um, if I place this greenery he, um, here, and we'll go along the top. Oh, I was going to say that's a great city spot, but it's not. Eh, whatever. That gave me enough money to do robotic workforce. And I think that an energy and a steel is pretty okay it's not a triple energy which i would have liked but it's not like i have a building tag i want to copy on the horizon so i think that's fairly safe again our titanium is piling up a little bit we got some steel coming in we got a little bit of money lots of space events um worth considering jc but uh we have 10 cards now as of picking that up 19 TR, 20 TR. We only need 
like so far this game, we went from 14 to 20. So we gained six over four or five rounds. Not, not great. Okay. But at the same time, we shouldn't be kicking ourselves too hard. Do we Olympus Conference? Uh, like, what I'm thinking is, instead of playing the big asteroid, which is a space event, I could go risky and go science first and see if we draw a synergy. I don't have any synergy in hand, though. So I think I'm going to play it safe and just get the free heat income from doing two heat bumps. We'll end up with plenty of titanium stuff. It, it could be a huge run, but we just don't know it yet. And we really need energy. I'm going to do this because I can afford it and getting some TR is nice. And so we're up to 24. So we've gained 10 TR in 5 rounds. Going and starting 6. Not bad. Going from 14 to 63 means you need to gain what? 49? <laughs> so. It's not, uh, not too bad. Uh, lots of interest here. Gene repair can be very helpful in getting up the science tag ladder. Lunar beam gives us the energy that we desperately need. And oceans, oceans are nice. Oceans are very nice. We, again, I'm just looking at too many cars, but I have so much titanium right now that I don't feel awful about it. We have a heat bump next round regardless of if I buy the lunar beam now. Still, I really like Deimos down, is what I'm looking at right now. The problem is that I still want to think about being greedy and digging the deck. And I think I will, now that I've got the first heat income, I'm willing to be a little bit greedy. We take a second. We get a science going. We get another science going. I'm pretty sure we also started with, or we we did a robotic workforce. So we have we have a decent amount of science, right? Five of it. Oh my god, where did the other two come from? Solar wind power, great card. Oh, and IO research. Okay, so we really are using. If we hit a science synergy card, we'll be in a very powerful place for sure. Next round, we definitely want to talk about doing IO. Because um, you can only hold off for so long. If we don't do IO, we want to do a Comet. And the Comet's looking very good right now as well. Um, Caretaker contract can be so powerful, but I don't actually have heat production. I'm mostly just relying on events. So what I would like to do, I definitely need energy this round. And I also want to do a Comet because that gets us a Greenery. So. And it gets us the, the heat production. So I take you. I play it. We go here with it. Nice and easy. Bam. 2% uh, oxygen is quite nice for us as well because we have... Uh, methane from Titan. Very expensive card with not so much production, but come on, it's so nice. If we could have got it out the gate, it would have been good. Uh, but I can't get it right now because I need Lunar Beam. And our TR is rocketing up. Like, we're doing very well because of Equatorial Magnetizer for sure. Um, you could go higher, but we definitely want Vesta. So, and that gives us an actual money income. I'm pretty happy with the greenery production stuff that we did. It was minus one for two. It gets us a plant tag, right? Don't worry, I see the, the pog. The pogicity. We have three, four. This is nice. We're grabbing lots of cards. Like, our, our hand is thick. Um, if we could get up to three plant tags, I would feel very confident that we moved in the right direction. How many microbes do I have on this now? Eight? 
That's sixteen dollar stores protected valley. Eight. <laughs> I want this. I know that people don't like methane from Titan, but it's so nice. Gets us greeneries and stuff. I can use my um, steel and my microbes on this, so I think that this is very well worth it. And I just want these plants. Just give us a little outpost over there. With all this plant production, I think it'd be really nice to have cities on the boards for points, but... Right now, I'm definitely focused on the Jovians, since I have TR per Jovian. Um, aquifer pumping. I could use it. This gen. Next gen, and I could get three oceans out of it. Three oceans, that's eight times three is 24, plus the 18. Really, it's two oceans at 18 a pop, and then on the last one, you spend six instead of 18, which is nice, but it's... It's a lot, and you have to do it right away. I have a lot to do. It's only slightly better than doing other things. I really wish... I really wish I had energy production, so I think that I'm going to drop this here. I really want the ocean here. To, to make a spot for my next greenery to go. Turns out we got polar dust. Uh, we will buy a two-point Jovian card. Again, more Jovians, more TR. We get some heat production, which isn't the end of the world. It doesn't actually make a break point for us, but just gives me a really good greenery spot. Um... And then I'm going to buy a power plant, because it's 11 bucks, and it gets us a TR, which is like a really good, uh, a good prize. Okay. We really wish we could get some bulk energy, though, for sure. We got a lot of titanium now. Got a lot of money. We got a lot of TR, quite frankly. Earth Catapult, you can't stop me, even if you try. Peroxide power, awesome sauce. Very good so far. That, my friends, is this. That's this. Um, a hundred percent. Going here. How close am I to the plant tag I need? I need an ocean for algae. I have four dollars off. If I spent everything on algae or on an ocean, I wouldn't even have enough for algae, let alone the asteroid. So I can't get it this turn. But Could do this for three heat bumps. I think the lava flows is just better though. It's only two, but instead of four steel, we get two plants, which is nice. Um, 42 TR, that means in two generations, we need to get 21. Uh, far from impossible. We have some good cards for it. We haven't gotten the double bumps yet. Um, and we have terraforming Ganymede, and now a sixth Jovian. So let's do some bumps. Let's uh, get a TR here. We're still looking for another energy production, but we did get a couple for for cheap. Eos Chasma that would have gone nice with the one point animal that I didn't grab. Uh, let's go up to here for this steel. Tags, we check. We have two plant tags. Um, I'm not dropping an ocean. Therefore, I am going to play Eos Chasma. 
for as many microbes and steel as I can. Pretty cheap. Too bad I didn't grab the one point animal, but I wouldn't have been able to play the one point animal and I really want to get this bad boy out anyway. So, that's nice. Eight plant income is nice. Um, how many earth tags do I have? Three. Here's the thing, I'm gonna Deimos down. Right, that gets us up to 51. And then I'm gonna Mirandi. Trees is actually better, isn't it? Trees is a whole other greenery. Miranda Resort's fun, because it's like four income, because of the three earth tags and a Jovian tag. But it's just not as good as just another greenery. Oh, if we had one more heat, though, that would have been nice. But we've been using up our energy so aggressively, right? This is good. This is good. Let's um get an ocean. Let's just... It's fine for an ocean. Do we have a... Don't have another ocean. We just grab what we can here. Um, 56 TR. Then we have six Jovians. Nice. <laughs> nice. Very good. Uh, we buy geothermal. I do this TR. Now, if I have one more energy, I can do this TR. But that's for one point. 11 bucks for one point versus all this stuff, right? Algae's two points. Though I could have just bought a city for like five. But algae and then gene repair, I mean, I already have two greeneries worth of production, right? So yeah, more energy would have gotten us even more TR, more money would have gotten us algae, and a city card would have been six points. Uh... But it did not happen this day. 65 TR. Consider this a win. Despite being so short on everything. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just fill it in. One big blob of greenery. Screw that city spot. We're not letting anyone else have it. So nice. 11, 15. So, 91 points. We weren't producing massively or anything like that. It wasn't a 100-point run. Which sucks compared... But, like, had we gotten one point per Jovian, we would have had, what, seven more points? Um, which wouldn't even have gotten us to 200. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, we didn't get any uh, space discounts or money back on space events. So that's what I blame. Screw it. Screw them. They don't know us. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.